big old fashioned one. Probably rusty like the handle. There, I see it. The one with the broken wing. my channel I hope you're doing really well so today's video is another Harry Potter DIY and this time I have decided to try and make the flying keys from the Philosopher's Stone which is the first book though some of you may know it as the Sorcerer's Stone but to me and in my heart it'll always be the Philosopher's Stone so we actually have one of the flying keys here which I think is really really awesome now the fun thing about this DIY is not only is it easy there are a lot of possibilities of what you can do with the final product you can hang them from your ceiling. You can create a mobile to hang up with all the flying keys hanging down. You can create Christmas tree decorations with them which I think would look really cool. Or you could do what I've done and I've created a little mini display in my bookcase. So basically the decision of what you do with them is completely up to you. So the first obvious thing that you're going to need is lots of different vintage keys. Now these are really really easy to get hold of. I got mine from eBay and they were really inexpensive. They were a couple of pounds I think for the entire bag. There's loads of different sizes in there and different shapes and designs which I just think is really cool. So get your hands on some of these. The next thing that you're going to need is a little reel of invisible thread or you could use fishing line as as long as it's clear and invisible that is all that matters basically you want to give the illusion that your keys are floating and flying and not really obviously suspended by a piece of string you're then going to need some glue for this I used super glue but I think in the future I would go for all-purpose glue that sticks everything to anything because this didn't bond as quickly or as well as I'd like it to but it did the job so yes find some glue that you know is gonna work you're then going to need to get your hands on some of this. This is a pack of transparency film and it's basically clear sheets of, I was about to say paper, but it's not paper. It's clear sheets of film that you can print on and this is what we're going to use to print the wings of the flying keys on. And last but not least, make sure that you have got some scissors. Okay, so first things first, you're going to want to take a couple of sheets of your transparency film and use a printer to print out lots of different shapes and sizes of the wing template. I'm going to leave these down below, I found them online and they are super realistic, they look fantastic. So once you've got your sheet of your wings, you're then going to want to take quite a bit of time cutting them all out. I use scissors, but if you would rather use a scalpel, then go ahead with that. Just make sure that you're really safe. But I use scissors because it's easier. So once you think you have got enough wings, in my case, I did way too many. I had a lot of spare at the end. But make sure that you have enough for the amount of keys that you want to create. Now the next bit is kind of up to you. You need to match what wings you want to use with which key. Now you could have a really big key with tiny wings which is really cool or you could have a tiny key with big wings it's completely up to you but I kind of matched the wing size to the key size once I have decided what keys went with which wings I then took my super glue and I put a little bit down the spine of the key and then I just held the wings in place until they were dry this can take a little bit of time again I wouldn't use super glue in the future I would use something that dries a lot faster so yeah just make sure that they're dry and then just do this same process to all of your keys. So once all of your keys and their wings are completely dry and they are definitely stuck on and they're not going anywhere, it is then time to attach the clear thread which is going to make them appear as if they are floating or flying because they are flying keys. <laughs> Now this bit's perhaps going to be the most fiddly and the most frustrating bit, or at least that's what I found anyway, um, because clear string and making knots with it, it's not as easy as it sounds, but yes, I did two knots around the base of the key, around about here. I found that that was the best position to put the knots to get them to hang nicely because otherwise you can get your keys hanging downwards and they wouldn't hang downwards if they were flying so just keep in mind the angle that you want your keys to hang and just experiment with where the knots go so yes after taking a fair amount of time putting the clear thread on all of my keys 
they were ready to be displayed. And as I said, it's completely up to you how or where you display them. I personally wanted to have a mini display in my bookcase and all I did was place them where I wanted them to go and I used masking tape to hold the thread up and it worked and it looked great in my opinion. But as I said earlier on in the video, you can also put little loops on them, you can hang them on Christmas trees, you can hang them anywhere that you want to hang them, it's completely up to you. that is the end of my second mini Harry Potter DIY. Let me know if you liked this video by giving it a massive thumbs up. Also, what would you like to see in the rest of this series? You can leave suggestions down below. And if you're gonna recreate this DIY, then please do send me pictures to my Twitter because I would absolutely love to see them. Also, if you're brand new to my channel, don't forget you can click the subscribe button to become part of my Weird Magical Online family. And yeah, I guess I will see you in my next video. Don't forget you can check out my last Harry Potter a DIY but other than that I'm going to love you and leave you I will see you next time bye